Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for me to, to the, the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes stream with tears day and night without rest over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people. 
over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion lotsam to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Among the nation's idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is it not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Please stand. The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus dismissed the crowds and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He said in reply, He who sows good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, the good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send His angels, and they will collect out of His kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers. They will throw them into the fiery furnace. 
where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Whoever has ears ought to hear. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Tayo, we pride ourselves, Filipinos, to be very family-oriented, family-centered. Tama ho ba? In fact, no, ang buhay natin ay umiikot sa ating pamilya na minsan yung attachment natin dito ay talaga namang sobrang higpit. May mga bahay tayo na nakikita ano, na hindi lang... Um, nuclear family, kundi extended. No? Ano ibig sabihin nito? Nandun si Lolo, si Lola, no? yung mga tito at tita, no? and all sorts of things. No? At syempre pa, no? kahit matanda na yung mga Lolo at Lola natin, no? hindi sa kultura natin, hindi katanggap-tanggap sa kultura natin, no? na ipadala sila sa mga home for the aged. Tama? Babantayan natin sila, aarugaoy natin sila. No? yun ang isa sa pinaka-treasure natin bilang mga Pilipino. Pamilya. Pamilya. Lalong-lalo na kapag nandyan pa ang mga lolo at lola, perhaps nandun pa yung glue no, that binds the family together. No? Why am I telling you this, mother, brothers and sisters? Today, we are celebrating the Feast of Saints Anne and Joachim. Sino sila? Mga lolo at lola ni Jesus, no? parents of the Virgin Mary. No? They are not contained in the canonical gospel, no? pero as tradition would say, no? sila yung humubog no? kay Maria, and at the same time, syempre si Maria ang humubog kay Jesus. No? Merong pagpapasa-pasa no? ng mabuting kaugalian, no? from one generation to another. No? Coincidentally, in our gospel today, narinig natin ang kwento pantungkol sa weeds at mga wheat. No? Damo at yung mga trigo. Yung mabubuti at masama. No? Mabuti at masama. No? And perhaps for our reflection, no? Ang unang-unang field kung saan tayo lumalago, walang iba kundi saan? Pamilya. Doon natin natutunan kung ano ang tama at kung ano ang mali. No? Siguro sa misang ito, pwede nating pagnilayan no? yung klase ng family Christian values na meron tayo. No? Yung klase ng kaulag ag kaugalian na namana natin sa ating mga ni Nuno. No? Hindi lingit sa kaalaman natin ngayong 2022. No? Yung mga youngsters would say, ah, luma na yan. No? 28th, 22nd, 21st century na. No? Ba't pa ba ginagawa yan? No? Hindi na importante yan. No? Outdated na yan. No? Yung mga kaugulagan, usually ng mga lolo at mga lola. No? Pero yung gist, no, nung pinapahalagahan, no? yung pinakajis ng Christian values, family values, no? Filipino values, nawawala. At hindi na tayo nagiging, alin, mabuting impluensya sa bawat isa. Here in the Gospel, narinig natin si Jesus, the Son of Man will send His angels and they will collect out of His kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evil doers. Those who cause others to sin. Sino ito? Ako ba ito? Sino ito? Perhaps the first venue kung paano nagkakasala, paano na ipapasa rin ang pagkakasala saan? 
pamilya, sa environment, sa workplace. No? And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, sa misang ito, pwede nating pagnilayan. No? Nagiging mabuting influensya ba ako sa aking mga anak? Nagiging mabuting influensya ba ako sa aking mga nakatrabaho? No? Kanino ko ba natutunan ang mga pinapahalagahan ko? Sa kapitbahay ba? Sa mga chismoso at mga chismosa? Kasi nakakatakot ko. Dahil ang mga bata ngayon, mas nakikita nila, mas sinusunda nila yung kanilang pinapanood. Nakakalimutan na yung mga turo ni Lolo at ni Lola. Yun ho sana ang protektahan natin. At protektahan din natin ang sarili natin na maging mabuting gabay no? pa rin sa kanila. Na i-uphold no? kung ano yung mga family values na meron tayo. Sa tulong ng mga panalangin ni San Joaquin at ni Santa Ana, no? sa misang ito, ipagdasal natin na sana maging mabuting impluensya tayo. We serve as models no? to the next generation. Amen. Please stand. With Saints Joachim and Anne, let us trust in the Lord who knows the needs of our families and the community of the Church. In every prayer, we all say, Father of generations, be gracious to us. Father of generations, be gracious to us. That the Church may defend the sanctity of marriage and the value of family life, let us pray to the Lord. Father of generations, be gracious to us. That parents may inculcate in the minds and hearts of their children the ways of love and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of generations, be gracious to us. That children may respect and love their parents and grandparents. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of generations, be gracious to us. That couples who are estranged from one another may rediscover and appreciate one another in the spirit of peace, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of generations, be gracious to us. That God may grant peace to our deceased family members. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of generations, be gracious to us. Lord God, bless our homes. Unite your sons and daughters in the one family of your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of our homage, and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in the crowning merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure hope, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and our angels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Joachim and Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under, under my roof, roof but only but say only the word, say the and, word my soul and my shall soul be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery, humanity might be born again from you, we pray that in your kindness, you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you.